sabihin niyo sa akin, kumusta na ang Romac? Because, you know, uh, when I went to Iloilo many years ago, ang sumalubong sa amin doon na nasa airport ay Romac. Doon ko napagtanto sa aking pagre-research because I had to talk to, you know, I was with the Institute for Solidarity in Asia and we met the local government unit there. I met uh, Governor Jerry Trenyas. Uh, he was mayor then. He told us na yung Romac is a big company in so far as Iloilo is concerned. Akala ko, pampanga lang kayo. Tell us about, uh, about your operations, uh, Sir Rene. Well, I started in 1980 as a uh, janitorial company. No? And mm. uh, after eight years or ten years, after one decade, I converted a single proprietorship uh, company into a corporation, which mm -hmm. is a family corporation. The incorporators are members of the family. And uh, from there, after, after a decade, when I was uh, very confident and successful here in Pampanga, so I decided to branch out in Mindanao and in Visayas, Luzon, mm -hmm. so, so that our ang uh, operate, operate uh, area of operations namin would be Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, my first uh, destination was uh, Visayas. No? Mm -hmm. Then uh, I was able to put up my uh, company there with local partners in mm -hmm. Iloilo, which is our main main uh, office. No? But we mm -hmm. operate in in Cebu, in in uh, Bacolod, and the other areas there, no? In uh, mm -hmm. Mindanao, in Davao, in uh, General Santos, mm -hmm. uh, but due to the kidnappings and other, due to the mm -hmm. bad uh, peace and order uh, situation in Davao, we, uh, no, we pre-terminated all the contracts that we have there. So now mm -hmm. we are operating only in Luzon and in Visayas. Mm -hmm. And uh, Visayas, it's almost as big as our operations in Luzon. Uh, mm -hmm. Before pandemic, we have about 8,000 to 9,000 employees. Mm -hmm. uh, now maybe we have about six to 6,500 mm -hmm. employees. And uh, mm -hmm. our uh, clientele, our principals are most of them are the first 1,000 corporations in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, halos malalaki sila. So we, uh, no, we, we provide them uh, manpower requirements uh, in their facilities, in their plants, in their offices, mm -hmm. in their branch offices, all over the Philippines actually. But yun nga, when pag Mindanao na, hindi na muna namin tinatanggap. Luzon, okay. uh, Luzon and Visayas lang kami. Ano specifically ang nakikita ninyo na nagiging contribution ng inyong kumpanya, ng Romac, sa ating lokal na ekonomiya? Noong una, tita, ang, ang ginamit naming uh, method o formula is that sabi namin, uh, the company should help people who cannot apply to big companies such as San Miguel, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, no? uh, Clark Development Corporation. Kasi yung mga requirements to become an employee or na uh, applicant dyan, no? eh hindi kaya ng mga kababayan nating walang pinag-aralan. No? Kaya kung minsan gusto man nilang mag-aral, wala silang means. Ano? So, yes. uh, ang nangyari is that nag-focus kami dito sa mga tawag nating tambay sa no o kaya mm -hmm. pupunta kami sa mga barangay captains tatanungin namin mm -hmm. sino ang masipag na mga bata doon no? gusto talaga magtrabaho mm -hmm. bigyan namin ng trabaho so yun ang first uh, uh, success na nagawa namin mm -hmm. ano kasi these people they cannot even apply for a job sa abroad or sa sa mga malalaking corporations but after several years working with us, nakakaroon na sila ng value, nakakaroon na sila ng valor. Yeah. Because mm. before they will, before they will uh, apply uh, 
to our company. Tanungin mo sila, wala silang kaalam-alam sa trabaho. Wala silang kaalam-alam sa mga batas, sa mga magagawa. Hmm. Tapos malalaman nila sa amin yan. Iasay namin sila, side by side, the regulars of the of our clientele, itututo yan. Then, hmm. most of them, they are being absorbed by our principals or some mm-hmm. of them because meron na silang alam, may value na sila. When they apply now, may requirements na sila, no? Uh, at nakakapag-meet na sila ng requirements. So, nakakapag-trabaho sila sa mas malalaking corporations or yung iba, they're now abroad. What do you want to see change in the business environment in the country and in Pampanga? What specific... Um, uh, sabi na natin, which list do you have that government should do to support uh, business? Alam naman natin yan, it propels the economy. It's business who gives purchasing power to our people. If the government will not support business, then the government is bound to fail. No? Mm-hmm. So, ang dami naming napapansin, sana ang gobyerno ay maging business friendly. Local mm. government units, no? mm. ang mga from the barangay captains up to the governor. No? Na, I'm not talking mm. of Pampanga alone. No? I'm talking mm. of my ano, is region. And this, mm. also, this is also the observation of other chamber leaders in other regions. The local government unit should also very friendly with the business because whether you like it or not, uh, they have to partner with business because the people that they govern will get their resources, get their living from the business. Mm-hmm. I would like to cite a, one example here in Pampanga during pandemic. We are happy with uh, Governor Dennis Pineda. No? Ang unang-unang tinap niya is uh, the business sector. Mm-hmm. Consultation, business sector. Mm-hmm. But other mm-hmm. provinces, they don't do that. Uh, local government units, our mayors, our barangay captains. No? Uh, because if business is uh, good sa isang lugar, ma- magiging magaan ang pagpapatakbo ng ating mga local officials. You know that, Tita, tita Sonia. No? Yeah, yes. Magsama tayo sa City of San mm-hmm. Fernando, no? sa yes. Multisectoral Governance Council. But some of our local leaders, local government leaders, they don't see that as, a, as an asset. No, that's why mm. I keep on convincing them whenever I have a discussion with them, particularly the emerging cities and towns, municipalities of our province and the region. I always ask them no, if they can uh, uh, replicate what we did in uh, the city of San Fernando. And uh, alam naman natin, very successful yun. No? Uh, social. Of course, if the economy ay uh, malakas, maganda, people will be happier. No? People will be contented. Uh, mm-hmm. People uh, will be, uh, crime, mawawala yan sa atin. Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi gutom yung tao. Everybody yes. has jobs. No? Mm-hmm. Everybody is earning for a living. So, mm-hmm. uh, hindi sila makakapag-isip na gagawa ng masama sa kapwa nila. Okay. Uh, as a parting message to our televiewers and those following us in Facebook and YouTube, do you have any uh, Christmas message for the uh, Kapampangans and the business community in general? Uh, Sir Rene? Actually, as President of the Pampanga Chamber, maglalabas kami yan, uh, definitely. No? But, uh, yun mm-hmm. nga, uh, it so happened nasa pandemic tayo. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we're happy uh, little by little the government is uh, relaxing uh, mm-hmm. the restrictions that were, mm-hmm. that were implemented or uh, applied during lockdowns and during the, the peak of the outbreaks. No? So, of course, it will not be the same as the Christmases before. Uh, Definitely, at the moment, there are a lot of our kababayans uh, who da, uh, walang trabaho. Mga kababayan nating uh, businessmen na uh, hanggang ngayon, sarado pa sila yung mga businesses nila. 
That's why mm-hmm. mar- walang trabaho yung marami sa atin. Because at the moment, the business sector has not recovered. No? Uh, I would say, kahit na 30%, wala pa tayo kung tutusin talaga. Uh, pre-pandemic, uh, based on pre-pandemic. So, mm-hmm. Christmas, it's the grandest holiday. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the, yan ang pinaka inaasahan na holiday ng ang mga uh, uh, Pilipino, no? Whether mm-hmm. like it or not, we will se- we celeb- we will celebrate Christmas, but it mm-hmm. will not be the same for the business mm-hmm. sector. Well, uh, during Christmas time, we expect high volume of sales. At the at, at mm-hmm. this moment, I don't I don't think we will uh, we will reach that uh, level of volume level of sales mm-hmm. uh, this Christmas. But we're very. Uh, we think in the next uh, few months, by next year, we will recover, we'll start recovering. No? Mm-hmm. Whether there's a vaccine or wala, uh, because little by little, uh, by and by, our people, our business people are adjusting. I hope in the next six months or so, nila na sila if, if they will find out that uh, their business is already irrelevant they, there are a lot of opportunities naman that they could uh, uh, find uh, during this uh, ano, uh, disaster uh, para sa akin let us celebrate Christmas we'll try uh, to celebrate it as if there is no pandemic no? Mm-hmm. because uh, kahit na itong month of December lang natin mararamdaman na for the past uh, more than eight months na talagang restricted tayo, nakakulong tayo, takot ka lumabas, takot ka magkasakit. No? Let us celebrate Christmas. But we have to follow the advices <laughs> of, the, yeah. of the health uh, officials. No? Huwag yeah. natin kalimutan yung mask and uh, work face shield, no? the yung face shield, social yes. distancing. In America, mm-hmm. kaya nagkakaganon sila because when they attend the party, talagang they don't follow the yeah. uh, health uh, protocols, the health standards. Mm. But we should mm. we should follow that because yun yan, mm. kapag uh, lumalaki yung uh, outbreak natin dito, uh, na, 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 naghihirap ang ating ekonomiya. So, yeah. let's celebrate Christmas and be happy. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and uh, advance Merry Christmas to you and to your family, uh, Sarah Rene G. Romero. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I enjoyed this conversation. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. <music>